So this whole outfit I have on, the jacket, 50 cents. The purse, $1.50. Hi guys, it's me, Isabel, and I'm back today with another video for y'all. If you guys haven't already, check out my last two videos I posted last week, okay? I think they're very helpful and I think it'll help you guys out. So make sure you go ahead and check those two videos out, all right? Leave a like and a comment and make sure you share with all your friends and all your family that you think could benefit from my video. This video is a very, very, very highly requested video, okay? In this video today, I'm going to be telling you guys how to find your style, giving you tips on how to find your style. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to create complex outfits from simple items that you have, you know, in your closet, you know, accessories, bags. You know, I'm just gonna show you guys how to make complex outfits from simple articles of clothing, all right? Before you get into this video, make sure you thumbs this video up, all right? And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, okay? Turn on that notification bell, all right? And follow me on Instagram at Isabel Pimmy. I'm gonna leave it on the screen right here, all right? And last but not least, make sure you share this video with your friends and your family, all right? Because I wanna grow. And in order for me to grow, I need you guys to grow with me, all right? And we can be one big happy family all right now let's get to this video okay during high school i was really insecure about what people had to say what people said it always mattered to me what people thought about and cared about always mattered to me all right so i was really insecure in that manner i just followed the trend i always followed the trend because that was what was cool at the moment not standing out was the wave okay and I'm pretty sure that's how it is in all freaking high schools. I mean, and not just mine, but I've always had a different sense and direction of style. Okay, guys, never the things that were the norm. Okay, I don't have a certain era of style. Like some people might dress or have a vintage type of style, right? Vintage style, right? And then some people more have like a real modern and classy style, okay? And then some people dress really futuristic like, you know, I don't have an era of style. You know, I just like what I like. Be yourself and do not follow the trend, okay? That's what I have to tell you guys, all right? Be yourself and do not follow the trend. If you stop doing those two things, your style will start blossoming. I'm just telling you right now, okay? I used to follow the trend, all right? And I was never myself. I used to follow the trend and just wear what everybody else thought was cool at the moment. And I necessarily didn't think that it was cool. I just got it because all my friends had it. The whole school had it. That's what was on Instagram. That was a trend. If you guys know, I just graduated high school about two months ago, but it's like right when I graduated high school, I just blossomed into my own self. I wish that it didn't take for me to graduate high school for me to be myself. Stop asking for people's opinions on what they think is cute or not, okay? Their opinions don't matter. If you like it, then you like it. I used to be that person like, oh my gosh, you guys think this is cute. And if they said no, then I wouldn't get it. Um, no, stop doing that. <laughs> if you continue following the trend, you will never find your own style. And that's just facts, okay? Facts, no printer. Now I'm just gonna show you guys how I dress and how I transform simple outfits and dress them up into really complex, fashionable, you know, outfits for you guys. All right, let's get into the meat of this video. So what I have on right now, guys, is a simple, like, wrap wrap top okay and it's all black and then i have these pants this is the top of the pants okay and i paired it with this my core's black belt okay. this outfit right now it's cute it's cute but i want more you know what i mean I want more. what i like to do when i like transform my outfits or when i dress up my outfits i really actually like including like different shapes into outfits. You'll see what I'm talking about, okay? The first thing that I will look for is some shoes. So the first shoes that pop into my head, I'll be like, oh my God, okay, so this outfit gives me very <laughs> boxy vibes, okay? So I have these shoes, they're like these little um, sandal mules, I guess you can call them, right? And they give me very boxy, like boxy type vibes as well, right? These are what they look like at the side. I paired the outfit with these shoes. I'm like, okay, well, I need a purse as well. I found this purse at the thrift store, guys. I honestly think it's so cute. It's so different. And this is what it looks like. 
I have these like circular glasses that I got from Love Culture. I absolutely love these glasses. These have been my favorite glasses all summer long. I'm gonna enter a video of me right here so you can see my full outfit put together. And as you can see, the basic black uh, top and the pants is just like the base of the outfit. What really makes the outfit is the glasses, the bag, and the shoes that really, really transform the outfit. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that accessories can really change up an outfit. It can really boost up the outfit, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna change into the base of my second outfit and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back with the base of the second outfit and this is a black, regular, regular, smegular, black tube dress i'm gonna insert me right here modeling it for you guys or whatever <laughs> i'm gonna dress it up for you guys like i did in the last outfit oh, in this video it's just this basic basic black tube dress all right so what i'm gonna do is i have this oversized jean jacket i'm gonna show you guys i got this actually from the thrift store literally like I think I got it for like 50 cents. You can wear the jacket like this. Like, let me stand back. Like, you can wear the jacket like this, but I don't like it like that. You know what I mean? So I wear the jacket like this because it's so oversized. So it'll go over the bottom of the dress. You can see. This outfit needs a little of flair, you know what I mean? So I have these vintage glasses that I got a pretty little thing. They were like $14, really, really expensive for some freaking glasses, but they were cute. So I want to get them. I have all these purses that I got from the thrift store, guys. I would rather go to the thrift store and get purses than pay for expensive purses because at the thrift store it always be some cute cheap find i found this cute bag at the thrift store it's so different it's so cute it's just this jean purse it looks like pants guys and i'm just gonna insert a video of me right here you know modeling it for you guys or whatever you know what i mean so this whole outfit i have on the jacket 50 cents the purse one dollar 50 cents okay that's already two dollars the dress was like five dollars off of wrong way another great place to get cute fits if you don't feel comfortable with your shopping or whatever you can still get cheap stuff off of wrong way all right and these glasses these glasses are literally the most expensive thing in this outfit with all these outfits in this video i'm going to wear the same black mules because i um don't feel like going across my room to get the rest of my shoes but the black mules pair perfectly well with all these outfits on to the next outfit all right guys so this is the base of the second outfit i just have this white like tank crop tank <laughs> i have this white crop tank and then i have these pants that you can't really see so i'm gonna insert a full-length video of me modeling these pants for you guys but i'll also have me right here you know so this is the base of the second outfit i'm gonna just be wearing my same black mules one of the accessories i'll be wearing with this outfit are these vintage sunglasses that i got off amazon for i believe 7.99 i'll leave a link in the description box below hopefully they still have them on the website because i got these like over a year ago i really like these sunglasses but i don't wear them all the time because i feel like it makes me look like an old lady and to top off the fit i have this beautiful beautiful yellow purse that I got actually when I was in London at the store called Primark that they really need to put in the United States because I love Primark, yo. And it's just this mini bag that has like a handle over. I'm just gonna leave a video right here of me modeling this fit for you guys. Again, you know, the top and the pants actually came from Forever 21, the sunglasses from Amazon and the purse from Primark, which you can't actually order online because for some reason, they don't have a website that you can work. I don't even wanna talk about it, it gets me mad every time. <laughs> on to the very, very, very last outfit. Okay, so I'm back and I'm back with the base of my next outfit, all right? I have this white bandeau on, bandeau on that I got from Boohoo. And I have these 
pants that I got from Boohoo as well. So what I would do to dress up and spice up this outfit is this men's button down white tee that I got from the thrift store. I love oversized button down white tees, all right? You can get them from a thrift store for like 50 cents to a dollar, honestly. So this is it. It is a little bit wrinkled because I didn't iron it, but this is it. Sometimes I will roll the sleeve up all the way or like to my elbow. And this fit, right? I want to leave like the sleeves all the way down because I love that oversizedness. I would tie it like this. Like, or I'll tuck it in, the ends in. So it's like a tied up shirt. And I'll put like a full outfit right here for you guys to see so you can see like the bottom i have these little like square frame glasses kind of similar to my oval frame with a gold accent just like the belt and then i'm gonna leave like a full fit right here for you guys to see how the whole thing looks i have this like red maroon type bag cross bag right that has like a real gold accent right here and it looks totally cute with this outfit i literally just spiced up the outfit from like one two accessories and like a little 50 cent shirt from the thrift store ways you can spice up your style isn't necessarily buying the most expensive watch or necklace as you can see i barely wore any i don't wear any jewelry i used to wear hoop earrings but with this hair that I have on now, <laughs> I feel like it'll be too much. But like when I get my hair done or have shorter hair, I will definitely make a new video. So I didn't wear any jewelry because this hair is a lot going on. But if I had shorter hair, I would definitely wear some jewelry, some dangle earrings, some hoops, some pearls, something, all right? So I'll definitely make another video on that. The stuff I got online, I'll definitely list that in the description box below, okay? I hope that this video really helps you guys. I hope I was able to show you how I, you know, pair my outfits together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a huge like, all right? And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, all right? Make sure you turn on that notification bell and follow me on Instagram at Isabella Penny. I'm gonna leave it on the screen right here, all right? And make sure you share this video with your friends and your family, okay? That you think could benefit off this video, off my tips. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We hit 200 subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. This is only the beginning. Literally, this is only the beginning. It's only up from here, all right? And I can't wait for you guys to see what I have planned for you guys, all right? Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.